Hello, so today's video is my birthday book haul. As you may know if you watched my last video or just from looking at the cards behind me, it was my birthday recently. I turned the grand old age of 25. I'm a quarter of a century old. Oh. <laughs> but I thought I'd share with you my birthday book haul. As usual, all the books that I'm gonna feature will be linked down in the description bar below. So if you're interested, you can go and check them out. Now I had a mixture of books that I was actually gifted and then I did get some gift cards as well which of course I spent on books so mixed bag, grateful for every one of them and some of them I've read, some of them I can't wait to read so let's get straight into it. So the first book that I was kindly given was The Vegan Cookbook, Feed Your Soul, Taste the Love, 100 of the Best Vegan Recipes by Adele McConnell. Now since going vegan I have spent a lot of time in the kitchen and I love cooking and I love being in the kitchen experimenting with food and I did want a vegan cookbook but most of the ones that I've been looking at were ones that you know in the in the ingredients it's stuff that you never honestly have in your kitchen cupboards but I had all of this stuff, well most of this stuff and they just seem like just beautiful fresh food and Oh, it just looks delicious and I honestly can't wait to eat loads of these and try them out. I just, yeah, they look yummy and they look healthy and, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? So, yeah, get myself back in the kitchen. <laughs> and then the lovely Ange from Beyond the Pages, whose channel I will link down below, sent me a couple of books. When it comes to birthdays and Christmases and stuff, we each send each other our wish list and the other person just picks a couple of books off that wish list. And she very kindly sent me two books off my wish list. Um, first of which was The Biography of Jane Digby, A Scandalous Life by Mary S. Laval. I, as you know, am a sociology graduate and I find the scandalisation of women through history to be absolutely fascinating and she seemed to have a fascinating life. Uh, the quote on the front is compelling. Jane, Big Jane Digby's sins make a wonderfully good read. That's from the Sunday Telegraph and I was just really intrigued to pick it up. I'm really into non-fiction at the moment. I'm really into non-fiction about um, singular women and kind of women who've been scandalised and may not have the best reputation but really looking forward to reading this soon. She also kindly sent me Murder in the Museum by John Rowland, which is part of the British Library Crime Classics. I've had this on my wish list for quite a while. Um, it was months and months before you could actually buy it that I've had it on my wish list. It's been um, on my pre-order list for quite a while, but Andre kindly sent it to me. This book sounded really good. It's about the murder of a retired professor who specialised in Elizabethan literature, I think. And they don't think it's a murder at the beginning and then one thing leads to another and they work out it is murder and then his murder is linked to another murder and it's just ooh, all interesting and murdering in a museum. Hmm, intriguing. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and it's not too long either and I've been reading quite a lot of crime books recently and they've been quite long and they've been annoying me so <laughs> it's nice to have a short one which hopefully packs a good punch. And then the rest of these books were bought with some book vouchers people kindly gave me. So the first of which is a graphic novel and it is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by of course Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. I recently watched the film and although I didn't have any interest in reading the actual kind of novel of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, I was intrigued to pick up the graphic novel. Flicking inside is rather gory. Um, I'm trying to find a page which isn't too gory to show you that's okay. It's in black and white kind of sketchy art and as I said it is rather gory so we'll see how I get on. I watched the film as I said and I really liked Matt Smith uh, playing Mr Collins. I thought he was brilliant but I'm gonna give this a go and see how I get on. If I, if I really like it I might try out the book but we'll see. I then picked up Agatha, The Real Life of Agatha Christie. This was the first thing that I bought with my book voucher. I was like, I need to have this in my life. I saw this on Amazon a while ago and I couldn't actually click on it so I didn't see that it was a graphic novel. Then I was in Waterstones and I had to kill an hour and I went over to the Agatha Christie section, as I do, and saw this, pulled it out, realised that it is a graphic novel and was like, I need this in my life. <laughs> and 
bought it as soon as I had the means to. I have actually read this so I will be doing a review of this and hopefully that will be out really soon and yes a graphic novel of Agatha Christie's life. Woo! Then I picked up some non-fiction, first of which is The W.I. Essential in the Making by Mavis Curtis. I picked this up because Home Fires, which was on ITV, which is a British drama series about <coughs> women and village life during the Second World War. That has been cancelled by ITV. I have no idea why, because it was so good and the ratings were actually really high. I think they just wanted to put new stuff on, uh, which is a bit of a shame, and it's left on a cliffhanger cliffhanger ending and I felt really sad about that so I thought I'd pick up some books about the WI and village life and I thought I'd start with this one so this is the history of the WI in the last kind of hundred years and I thought it'd be really interesting to just learn a bit more about it from where it started to where it is now and it's got some picture images in here as well and it to be honest it just looks really good <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to reading this soon Next one that I am so excited because this is so at my street, it is The Scandalous Lady W, an 18th century tale of sex, scandal and divorce by Hayley Rubenhold? Or Halley? I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Um, I watched the BBC programme production feature film thing starring Natalie Dormer and I absolutely loved it. My heart literally went out to her. Natalie Dormer is an amazing actress and she played her so well but I was left intrigued because sometimes you watch these kind of feature films and you're wondering did I actually read the real person or have we made changes and adaptions is it really good script writing is it great acting so I wanted to pick up the book if you would like me to do a book to film what I thought, let me know in the comments section and I'll do that for you. I'm so excited to read this, to really find out what happened and who was the real Lady W because Natalie Dormer played an amazing Lady W. I just hope it's the same version, but we'll see. And then finally, last book that I got for my birthday is the collection of Kyoto Costume Institution Fashion, a history from the 18th to 20th century. As you know, I love the history of fashion. I'm gonna actually be doing a book um, not a book, uh, yeah, book recommendation video on um, how where to start reading with vintage fashion and then I'm going to do where to start reading with the history of fashion, so things that are a little bit older. And I'm collecting lots of books, and I'm reading through lots of my books and just making sure that I'm putting together a really good recommendations video for you. And this book seemed like a great one to pick up. All the pieces that are featured in here are museum quality pieces they are absolutely stunning and just achingly beautiful look at it oh it's just absolutely gorgeous and there is quite a lot of information um, about the pieces as well next to it so they so they talk about what the piece is so a description of the piece but then they go into a little bit further detail as well so I'm really looking forward to really learning and just admiring some beautiful pieces of the history of fashion because as you know I love fashion I love the history of fashion so dream come true in a book so there we go that is my birthday book haul <sighs> I am going to sit down and read those now. So thank you to and thank you to all my friends and family who got me book vouchers and books for my birthday. It was very kind of you. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you're all having a lovely day or evening or whenever you're watching this. So take care everybody and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye!